Hello Chero Collectors, we got another car that I never knew about. This is called the Toyota Fun Cargo. I think in some places it could have been known as a Yaris, uh, a variation of the Yaris. Anyways, uh, this toy is from 2004. It's number 55 in the standard line. So let's take a look-see here. really cheap. It was like $2. That's why I bought it. And we got a little plastic wrap there. Pretty nice gold, gold paint there. So I think there was a Fun Cargo X that had this like different body panel color for the, the lower parts, you know. Yeah, those openings all match up. That looks pretty good. Gonna find a rear photo of, a, of one, but I'm assuming it's this. Oh, maybe not. It doesn't have those uh, reflectors at the bottom. So the rear rear photo might be totally off. Alright, well we got the standard 5-spoke Cherokee wheels. The stance is actually pretty good. There's not much of a gap. Very tiny panel gaps here for all the, the doors, the door handle and stuff. The silver is painted nice. You know, good break up there. The window molding is a little bit three-dimensional just plain silver headlights but a nice texture here in this grill and that grill is separate from the ones down here nice texture there cross hatch just a blank plate and some sort of badge outline so the clear body you can see the motor back there this side here looks just as good as the other one some molded detail here for the tail lights and then front cargo little door handle good silver gold separation Actually, right here is not so good though. A little spotty. Some rain gutters there. Okay. Tells you 04. And then you got a screw and a tab for construction. Pretty easy to modify and take apart. In fact, I'm going to put some different wheels on here. Maybe some uh, Hot Wheels Real Riders or something like that. Because I bought like a bag of a hundred of them. So I got to use them up. We take this motor out, and then I gotta pop in a different motor that has no axle. Put this back together. Screwdriver. I don't use the electric screwdriver because I think it'll strip out the plastic threads. So back that out till we find the thread there. And then let me get some Walmart putty and get some wheels out of this thing. So I ended up uh, spray painting some uh, Hot Wheels Real Riders with the color shift of a uh, green to pink. Hopefully you can see the pink, green there a little bit. And then I mounted with Walmart putty. And I think it looks a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to pull out a couple other Toyotas here. We have a Toyota Starlight by Jero Q, and it's got some 3D printed wheels and brakes on it. And then we have a Toyota 11, a Corolla 11. So, and this is a standard wheels. Maybe I took a gold Sharpie to the rims. That could have been the case there. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, let's see here. Something similar to this, I guess, would be a Toyota Vitz. So actually, let's put the Vitz here. And that has 3D printed wheels on it. Um, uh, let's do a Prius, why not? A more modern car. This is a Cherokee Zero. And a little more retro would be this Celica. I think it's a Celica Lift Pack, an LB, and that also has some uh, Hot Wheels Real Riders on it. Right, so, let's get this guy spinning over here. And since it's gold, put up a Bandai C3PO. All right, well, it's always fun to. I guess learn about new cars that were sold in other parts of the world. 
Yeah, obviously it's not a most, the most attractive vehicle. I'm sure it's quite practical and it's quite economical. And for me, that was the case. Again, I only paid like $2 for it. So it makes a good customizing project, really. Well, well hopefully you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you the next time I customize a Cherokee.